during the week, we continue to memorize and nature in this application. So, uh, briefly, yesterday we examined the uh, uh, natural images in the Bible in the different classes uh, of herbs in the Bible. So, you remember we saw uh, several classes on the natural images. And so, what we do today is we just get out of here. Then move right around the, the academy, identify these things, and then give you some practical techniques on how to physically identify these plants and say, find out their medicinal phytochemistry. Uh, so, Shatabana had told Tanda Farmer earlier that she, you know, she told me that now with technology, you notice that we have some applications on our homes that will assist you to identify this too. Now there is plenty of software with gadgets, like for example, uh, you just get a picture of uh, any item from natural vegetation there. And in fact, uh, it can actually tell you the name of that kind of thing as you continue to Google out the medicinal properties of those things. So, um, we will get out of here and then move right down the right straight into the bush. Now, what I'll do is just, I'll, I'll be describing the medicinal properties of things that I already know. And then as we come back, we quickly touch each and every one of us to try and um, say, Find out the medicinal properties of the trees and vegetation that you already know so that we can gather all the information together and consolidate it into a much more bigger picture than I, I have done personally on my own. So, we will have a song as we get out of here to try and make it a practical lecture on the medicinal properties of some. Different aspects of vegetation. So today, this afternoon, we're just going to now down the bush medicine. Yesterday, we will text from God 20, 25, that says the hair appears in the tail of us, shows itself in the head, so the mountains are that. So, bush medicine is part of nature, so the National Farmers Valley will check it. So, let's get out of here. It's going to be a practical lecture. Let's carry it our case with you in the writer as we get out of here. Cypress tree. C Y P R E double S. Cypress tree. C Y P R E double S. Now, you never cease to be amazed by the fact that this item starts off as, as a very small tree, and usually with uh, botanical gardens and stuff, they just nest these things and you find them beginning in small plastics where they do nest these items. And then the water it grows up. Now, as times you patronize uh, public places like uh, schools and stuff, you will find this item neatly cut into a hedge. Amen? Mm -hmm. And uh, because God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, they just get to decorate their schoolyards and stuff, not knowing this is quite very uh, a very deep medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, so what happens now is you just type the word cypress tree on your, uh, your laptop, your, your phone, you have your data bundles, your Wi-Fi. You just Google Cypress tree medicinal uses. You press the Google button. Now, for example, you want to download maybe your journals that is a record of what of the medicinal functions of this tree. You just type Cypress tea, Cypress tree PDF if you want internet to give you medical journals. Then you have different uh, 
uh, say websites there one by one wherever there's a PDF you download medical channels that is the record of the medicinal uses of cycling. Now usually with these trees they are multifunctional it's basically for very complex respiratory tract infections including asthma, tuberculosis but um, personally I ignored all the other functions the first time I was on Dr. Good event. I was fascinated by the, its function to like being very useful for, for, for a medical condition we technically call plural effusion. Plural for P-L-E-U-R-A-L. Effusion is E-F-F-U-S-I-O-N. Plural effusion is a condition whereby you have accumulation of water in the lungs. Now you remember inside your, 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 your chest cavity, you have uh, your lungs gliding against the, the chest wall, but just be between the chest wall and the lung is a space. They are called the plural space. Now, usually with people who are, who are on a prolonged intake of drugs, if you are, I mean, unfortunate enough to have, uh, say, one of your side effects is uh, the lungs, I mean, just being hit by a prolonged intake of drugs, they, in the plural space, there's accumulation of fluid there in a situation called plural fusion. Now, you just take a teaspoon of uh, cypress tea. You have a patient, they just take a cup kango, teaspoon and a cup kango. You slightly boil it for two to three minutes. They slowly take it to drain out water water from the lungs. Now, usually with accumulation of fluid in the lungs, then uh, because the lungs are not performing their gaseous exchange function, so what happens is like there is an automatic, say, flow of water with the force of gravity there to accumulate at the base of uh, the body, uh, giving rise to a condition called EGM. And hence, you drain water from, from the lungs using a cypress tree, then simultaneously with hydrotherapy like contrast baths to, say, drain water from, uh, from the legs. And then simultaneously, there is a certain, say, garden weed called dandelion. Dandelion, uh, its decoction is also used to drain water from, uh, from, from, from the legs. Now, as you look up yonder there, there are some tiny small seeds. Do you notice that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very tiny small seeds there. Now, that's a bullet there. It's a bullet there. <laughs> you just take, say, a handful. You boil in a liter for henny. Seeds. Yes, the seeds use them to, to, to reverse henny. So henny has a take forward dimensions. Usually, any patients uh, have simultaneous rise in body temperature. And uh, it's deemed to be a medical emergency straight to, to an ambulance to a hospital. Now they perform their surgeries there. You can defer the surgery using these seeds. Just a handful decoction in a liter, umbilical hernia, hiatal hernia, femoral hernia. We have three types of hernia there. Now the other several functions of this tree, just just get your phone on Google. Now usually what we do is herbalists. I will get to present the functions that I use this tree for. But the first time I get to Google the medicinal functions of this tree, probably they are about 40 feet. But because I just test two, three, I'm already fascinated by the three out of 40. The next time I'm asked to present a lecture like this, the other 37, I won't present it. Remember, like mankind can't handle the glory of themselves. So you are the first, <laughs> the first, the first two, three items using these items with the other 37. It's now blue. So that's about uh, cycling tree. So just get to the data bundles on the phone or laptop in your chat. These trees are more capacity. Several functions. But hey, the first time you test an item, you've never done it before. You find it's been exactly like the first function you're testing for. You ignore the other. Because hey, you can't handle the glory of God. Now, this tree over here is called the Chakata tree. So if you have data bundles on the phone, Right as we are moving around that, just type in Chakata tree, we just know you And um, you save the information book. Now, uh, Chakata is quite a wide range of, uh, of uses there. Let me just find out if I use the Chakata family. But as I try to get to the section where there's the Chakata there, the leaves of Michakata are very rich in calcium. 
actually they are rich in so many minerals um, that are required by the body like calcium, magnesium, iron and stuff. So if you have some mineral deficiencies, just get these leaves, you pound them, you dry them in a shed. As they dry in the shed, you repound them to powder. Just get used to drinking Jakarta with tea for the reason that no one has in the body falling short of any necessary mineral. Calcium, magnesium, iron, blah, blah, blah. blah. Now, Jakarta is technically called Parinari Curate Lifolia. P-A-R-I-N-E-R-I-C-U-R-A-T-E-W-A-I Folia. Just type in Jakarta. Google will tell you all the generic names, Greek and Latin. Now, the roots of this tree is a decoction of the constipation. Now, you can do, you can, you can boil the roots of Uchakata and munch for a toothache. Right? Root decoction is antibacterial, antimicrobial, the decoction is alkaloid, it is flavonoid, it is phenols, just make sure to I'll try and sometime later during the week throw a PDF, but if it's to search you also that makes sense. So you just get to ask for a PDF and you give you a flavonoid, <laughs> phenols, <laughs> saponoids, steroids, tannins and tepids. Now root infusion is anti plaque it stops out. So it's a panacea. It's a panacea. It's a panacea, B A N A. Just make sure you check out the root powder by your side. Root infusion is anti plaque, it stops out that. Now, leaf infusion is in astringent. In astringent, something that binds up, like for example, in the diarrhea, you just make a tea of uh, leaf tea there. Right, so that's which I got a tree there. Um, now, what else do we have? Let's get to the side. Huh? There's just plenty of leaves. Tell me if you have one. 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 No, oh, ah, no, this wind. <laughs> What's that? Ah, no, just like that, man. So, the advantage of bush medicine is just that bush medicine is more faster. So the best medicine on this planet is bush medicine. Amen? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yes. The best class of herbs is bush medicine. You remember yesterday we alluded to the fact that these, three, these trees are not adulterated. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's no interference. There's no human interference. You don't part, take part in its uh, germination, uh, its watering, whatever growth to these trees in the bush. There is no interference with mankind. You remember yesterday, Jeremiah chapter 17 says, the heart of every human being is what? And uh, we are all sinners. And so, if you get the uh, items of medicine like this, that is no human interference. This is the best class of health on this planet. And then yesterday, we described how it happens like Satan wants to get us some interference with these things by stealing from us and ordaining his doctors and to bush medicine like the langas, the scum and stuff. Yet nature comes from a perfect and mighty hand of God. Now, Mutamba has so many, so many uh, names in the herbal world there. It's called uh, Strychnos Spinosa, S-T-R-Y-C-H-N-O-S. Uh, Spinosa is S-P-I-N-O-S-A. Or you can call it monkey orange. That's another name for Mutamba. Mutamba uh, is also called Klepa Apple. K-L-A-P-P-E-R. 
Clipper Apple, Monkey Orange, Strychnos, Spinosa. And um, this is a very good kind of medicine there. Now, I'm trying to run to, to, run to my section of uh, uh, PDF where we have Mutamba there. Right? It's also called West Indian Elm. West Indian Elm. Elm, E-L-M. And it's also called Guazuma Omifolia. G-U-A-Z-U-M-A. U-L-M-I-F-O-L-I-A. Right? So, the back is used as an immuno booster. It boosts your immune system. So, it's good for HIV patients, cancer patients, diabetic patients. Back infusion is tea, an immuno booster. Why? Because it contains antioxidants for destruction of cancer cells and free radicals. So, this is medicine for cancer. Antibacterial, and uh, the back is tannins and pro anthocyanidins. One of them being pro cyanidin B2 for prevention of hair loss or baldness. So, I've got to cast with a masha, no gara, shima tea, ye back, yem tam. Man's at the machine is not one shara, no ze. Malnutrition. If you are on a deficient diet, that falls short of production of. Uh, Keratin for hair growth. No one has manza. So manza is going to be in town. I don't know if you have a town. Why? Because I don't know if you have a refined food. White flour, blank shot. Uh, Muscat, white rice. I don't know if you have a blank shot number two. Manero, palenda, beef stew, blank shot number three. So I don't know if you have a blank shot. I don't know if you have a blank shot. I don't know if you have a blank shot. So malnutrition is rampant in cities where people eat junk food. Mm. So it's very easy for people in cities to have bold, premature borders because of uh, malnutrition. Then uh, number three, the back lowers high blood pressure. So Jamba back tea is medicine for hypertension, is tea, and protects the kidneys. It's medicine for the kidneys. So if you want your kidneys to be in good working order, back tea. The back is caurinic acid. That is antibacterial and antifungal properties. Kauronic acids, K-A-U-R-E-N-O-I-C. And um, the main chemicals in Tamba are carophylin, catechins, fanisol, fridolin, iricosins, procyanidin B2, B5, Pro cyanide in C1 and C tostero. Now, the back tea is also medicine for heart problems. Mm -hmm. The other function of the back tea as well is relaxation of smooth muscles and a uterus stimulant. Stimulates the uterus. Hence, an aid in childbirth. So, once it happens, like you're nearing childbirth, just get used to drinking Mtamba back tea. Now, a combination of the root, the bark, and the leaf equal parts in the powder is tea for Neisseria gonorrhoi, the virus that causes gonorrhea. Equal parts of leaf, bark, and root for destruction of Neisseria gonorrhoi virus. Now, the same combination of equal parts of the root, bark, and uh, leaf is medicine for syphilis, for a sexually transmitted infection called syphilis as well. Now, a combination of the root and back only is antiviral against hep, HEPs, simplex virus type 1. HEPs, simplex virus type 1, root and back equal parts. And all viruses. So, I'm going to COVID. Lord knows that I shan't say. COVID, I mean, I'm going to say. I'm is too harsh for COVID. To watch for COVID. So with COVID, I would just use the Andana camera with that small little dish. Our, our, they are too heavy. Root <laughs> Corona. Which medicine is above all? Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, it, I think this is why Sartan is to put Nanga Msango Nanatsi Kamtanda because he wants to protect the best kind of pharmacy. Can I also see Bush medicine? 
ni wakasara zvuku kuti kwana wazwa imwe mshonga yese zikazigushi wakasara isa kuti now this is the class of medicine you know kuna kuita kuti pone kuzoti inema kuti ma drugs are fast my herbs are slow never no 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 things that are manufactured by sinners will never be faster than things that come from the end of god that's not true it's blasphemy against god <laughs> so mankind speaks blasphemy against god via the wisdom of this world so things that come straight from the hand of god are faster than things that come from these pharmacies okay now whole plant the root the bark the leaf equal parts for pneumonia and bronchitis equal parts of the root bark and leaf for pneumonia and bronchitis bark infusion for diarrhea so ukacha ukaisa ukangotura bark rachiroro ukoisa kuti yako is infusion now the first time i tested these things you just crush off these dead cells there the fresh bark uchiri wane watu wane mbunzi kangopira the fresh bark changa ngo chuwa nachinzwa mbunzi moto sunga ngo chaya uchimhanya uchikase magitsa now when you learn these things practice them don't practice them on, on patients practice them on yourself amen now in i can testify boys and na chimi chando pa munhu ka sachini zvichi sathis tira pa hambi na testa pa ndeye mapiritsa boys Pirits are toxified yet. So I was almost saying that Barry Ajit was here, but it's quite toxic. So no such side effect. And it is easy to measure. No matter how you do it. So you can test these things on yourself. Root powder infusion for prostate problems. So when I look at it, I'm not seeing any number. Prostate is always in check. It's always in check. No enlargement. No safe is about prostate. You don't enlarge. Root only. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, kana munhu aine ino zvin continents ma loose sphincters blood ari nema nema pouch ano zvin sphincters akaita loose wire waiting yango manya ndizvo you get the root powder you make an you, you equal parts they know it's corn syrup rev gesh bag you mix in rev gesh bag with powder you mix koti mwa tea ma powder ano sunga some of these things god has to provide an explanation when get up here on the Jesus kana bana kuita prove ngosvika chete ne bogadi za mpaipa shwe mavharu kwazvo. Tsanga ari kana zvotsena kuraud kuti zvinhu zvambamba se. Kuti waiti nokofamba ingo sungwa kudarambi. Right so root powder infusion for prostate problems for rashes root powder skin rashes uterine disorders and irritation. Now the dried back decoction is for hemorrhage persistent uterine bleeding. You just boil the back standard dose teaspoon dried bug decoction for persistent uterine bleeding nekungorwadza kwechibere kunongo boina bug yacho fresh bug decoction for child birth a gastrointestinal pain asthma dysentery wounds cleaning of wounds and fevers right then ni vane manza vaya kana zvida kura pa manza yangu kasika kunyuka yo bug decoction topically for boldness and it pane pane mu change man ari pa chicken him and akambo akatinda chidzitsa zvino zvinomba ati ndida kumbo wa patient enye kutanga nekukasika kuvhara manza na mushida mukapinda ne mutown ndino kupai ndino kutadzira ni watch okupai ma notes boss ndakamba ma form 5 ekukava kava manza vhunzira kutomera face paper kaita ndi mpawa nasi vhunzira kumera so when we say these things theoretically like wasina mbozona no she got ha eh chiwani mazvo but yenzi wonde kana wakazvita zvitori yes ya town kure ndaka to shandisa mutambo right muri kwanza kana testimony wanga yato vawes manza but our brother is a pdf on good summer day he just these things not to leave not to shand so outside the kingdom of god outside the way so to that we have a medical knowledge that people think is true it's not true it's not true Now last time you remember we were reading Matthew chapter 24 it is your part to get narrow down uh, uh, times of trouble into eternity we will have to leave the world and everything in there move to the country and then as they narrow down persecution to our country villages there we will have to leave our, our country dwellings into the mountains amen 
Mm. Now God just won't fix you by making you vacate your country dwellings into the mountains if there's nothing there. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you eat my wild fruits, my wild berries. We are going to come to the My bushmen have been practicing this life, Yugaram Sango, since time immemorial. And it's very possible you can stay in the bush. Amen? Mm-hmm. And now, fortunately, with this kind of knowledge, ne are going to say it. Amen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, this is why we're learning these things. Um, I suspect drugs come, most of, most of the most power, of the powerful drugs come from bush medicine. It was, hey, could my drugs are not happy. Your language, you know, I told you. It is, you and it. Right, back decoction for blood purification. So you have a tea of the back to clean your blood. For fevers, hepatitis, an inflamed liver. You just boil the back and liver disorders. Right? You can also boil the back for urinary insufficiency. It's like a, Standard dose, teaspoon. Not on a patch of wood, a patch of wood, in a shrink, in a large prostate plant. Okay. Right? Then, uh, you can have to tea back, you boil your, you boil the back, not to treat as great as the elephant yasis. I'm not going to shrink up, which I'm not going to shrink up, on a constant. See a teaspoon of oil every day, ye back, no shrink, elephant yasis. But no move and jabber eggs and pick up a small shrub, and ocean subject of elephant yasis number two, besides this one. Root infusion for infertility. Goma, no mushonga, no goma food. Root infusion for infertility. I put size in that when I'm going. Let me not be quick to. I haven't tested it on men. Wakaz gina. Wakaz do one ones over here. Wakaz gina. Kuwarumi and this. You don't want to test that wakaz. Ah, warumi kasho magunzo. Why me? Problem is. Warumi, warumi do ones. Washandi siras me. Washandi. Kuwarumi and this. So, matter root. Yes, root infusion for infertility. Right, you boil the roots for. Cessation of menses, amenorrhea. Right? Wagura mbari chikodi. Pano anote era for long periods. No stop energy. Just boil a teaspoon. Untamba root. Shkwe. Back powder and porridge for prevention of miscarriage. When mommy miscarriage, why? Just take the back powder with some porridge. And it's prevention of miscarriage. Root powder in soup for sore throat. Root powder in soup for sore throat. Yes, in soup for sore throat. Then root infusion for hydrocell. Hydrocell in prostate enlargement. And it root infusion for prostate enlargement for hydrocell for hypertrophy. Benign prostate hypertrophy. Root powder again in porridge is an aphrodisiac. It balances your hormones. And only hormonal balance, not to powder, routine tamper with some porridge. It's done. My baruku shop kwe duk town. Waka we have any problem here, hormonal imbalance. To see chances, I can understand, but I can't stand up. In tamper, to walk on a house of fire, a reporter should be the mother for the Indian Cossains, a passenger, a pedo, a dog more at that. So, um, Root powder and porridge is aphrodisiac. <laughs> Leaf infusion and unripe fruit dropped into ice for sore eyes. <laughs> yes. Leaf infusion into eyes for sore eyes. Root powder in soy milk is emetic. Root powder in soy milk is emetic. Emetic and I prevent that. My, 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 my,
is also drunk for genital, genital what? Fruit drunk for genital what? Eh. Amen. 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 The bark, the unripe fruit contain a chemical called strychnine and other alkaloids for overcoming snake venom mm. of snakes such as mambra. That's mamba. Bark, unripe fruit. Fruit such as in bishis or little. Bogaramatungo ikaucha is powder, is anti venom. Yes. Unripe fruit, dried bark, is anti venom, especially for mamba. Yes. <laughs> SD. SD. <laughs> right. Tap it. Zanim Tamba. Tap it. Okay. Let's move on. We don't know if you can go to Karat. 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 So, if you research about bush medicine, most of the information there is stranger than fiction. Amen. And I was talking to one boy, one boy, so no, he goes, ah, Bakuma. He goes, ah, Bakuma. Ah, Bakuma. But he can only feel much so to Nagi, Zambi. So, Shango Brigade. Right. Then he. Right, this is one other group of uh, medicine, the acacia. Now, you remember when we read Genesis chapter 3, verse 18 says, Stones and thistles shall the ground bring forth, and thou shalt eat the head of the fruit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those Now, if you are asking what Madara ku maru marai ni mishonga mishonga zaji ti guchu 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 ro gazi gani ni zaji yemi wa amen eh kana wili dango ni miwa ko kana chichungu nepo zimuda kusimuka gaga ngo combine maru ni zemi zindo ra wali ti guchu ro so I noted that it's very true matons are ku say ani kuzi wa jaro ni guchu ro gazi gani ni yemi wa so acacia has three varieties now this acacia nilotica n i l o T I C A. There is Acacia Babu, B A B U L. And then there's Acacia Karu. Hey, I don't see any swallow in my back. One back. The other back, you're not a pillow. The guy is a deep dark, I need dark, dark, blackish, grayish. Then there's one that I can't see here. You need a back. You're going to be a red or a maroon. I need a back. You're going to be a red or a maroon. I need a back. You're going to be a red or a maroon. I need a back. You're going to be a red or a maroon. Now, probably let me just read one type of an acacia. Now, the root for acacia karu is drunk for convulsions. Root infusion, you know, stop my convulsion. Root infusion for hormonal imbalance. Root infusion is aphrodisia. So usually, if it's very fresh, you can infuse. Can I get my 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 dryers? Yes. Maybe you can slightly boil those back to dry. Powering what compact muscles to preserve the medicine. Indeed. Root infusion is aphrodisia. Root infusion for sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea, syphilis, and most other venereal diseases. Root infusion. 
root infusion is anti-inflammatory. Yes. Now, one quick answer would not be yes or no. Why? Because um, I'm going to Usually, with the medical missionary, I'm um, I have had cases where I've, com- I've combined three, four cancer, say, medicines. That's the Parkinson and Hodgkin's. You notice from Chapin Ambassador. Like, yes, 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 Four. Ah. And this color is, is coming from a drunkard life. So the first time they came with the patient, any cancer foils. Ah, Takashikana cool it. So we were scared, my lambo to get a trambe basai. No, but Taramba was getting him carat. But so can't say, I'm going to see what's the rage. So probably they suspected which in Bawar which kaguli, for a patient, and it, and for sure that was the case. Ah, so feel more kwang. So what happened was when they came with the patient for the second time. What about ayo? She went out into okay. Did she go to van wa katpa number zenyo? What makwara pa kinsa e chakat ni chakat? Pamu dema ona mukere we disano guara maningere kana chichi. But the guy to wibira na kapito tinguri na paspiti kana kanga kufa wadi. Ah, for students go try a method zinza take an zori mushandi. So what we did was tap a green light post I like big one moon. Tika takanam has it a cancer four. Is it what can say in which it I think I think I try it. So we took uh, I'll show you one other medicine for cancer in Albizia and Tunisia. They say, you know, root So what happens is can I stop a cancer in cancer. ロネグエンズ。ステージだつログエンズ。レイダーズ。ロサラ。セカンドのソタケンズはシアムナ。セカンドは今度のアルビジアルート。バタコンバイナシルバークラスター。ミスウィスメディシンフォーケンズ。
ndi mechanic aikanika anukanika mota dzeku unki pamba papa zara mota dzeku unki unki yakurashidwa na makanika he was a private mechanic unki was anu kuda mzangu na mota so anga ne four months asinga jakanik mota dza zara manje pamba papa iko zvino izvi dziri kufamba yedu ina sekuruga kuti sine mota mama zvai kuti kanzi chiuya tite engine oh ti guru ne tinyatso save some mota achire mbo wedu nyatso di nyatso ita futa anomba asvika kai guru ra guru ra kai save saka isa my new parts Ati tender besides therapy fee yangu ati baga. Sanga nuru nuru. Amen. So with bush medicine, uruku say it was no ino kusotira njema zao sana wey two. Misha na pana chao kandra ipi Dave rangu ni bush medicine. Ma functions acha kadi. Aga one sub all in one substance. Saka sata na adam uvarira mshongai. Achi sanga ngai koko. Anatsi kamtanda. Nana ch. Osa nzoti. It's multi function. Zime na makris. And the reason why the Bible says for persecution in the in the mountains, my son, my son, is what we should get. One, we look at the shagadi, shagawa and Daniel, right? Then uh, powdered back over wounds, acacia. Powdered back over wounds. Now, the powdered back is rubbed on gums and teeth for dental conditions. Some of the functions here, we must actually use now shandi. So, you know, she should have a meeting. Ugango shanti up for two three functions. Ime forty wakuto kanga ma boss ni watu vundu kani tu ni. Watu kodi take take ni ma functions matatu tu anid. Saka ukwaza zaidi tama ma ma PGA for for the past ten years. Ma ma functions zana la shanti. Ilo zungu chuko baipa pango ni tawa. Wani chuo nuto testa ukona chapter four ya wakuto ignoreasi. Udanga wakuto mania ni pepe buchina kio anid. Uzati na uchia ila zungu. Tazi kote si ma doctor na mani saka zwa na tumbrati kuchio wote si ma qualification. Udanga wakuto fara ni functions ni. Right then, um, this table is put in warm water. Yeah, back for coughs and the hoarseness of oil. Table is put back in warm water for coughs and the hoarseness of oil. For apparently, the machine is not going to pay for it. Oil is not going to be used. We are going to have to change it. Can I also say cabbage? Cabbage, you carry greater, greater. Okay, sir. The cup is a warm water. We should not have to gargle for hoarseness of oil. Back decoction for leprosy. Standard dose teaspoon. Back decoction for leprosy. Back decoction for oral hygiene and pharyngeal ulcers. Back decoction for oral hygiene and pharyngeal ulcers. Back decoction for anorexia and self-induced starvation. Chilembata nangura ya anorexia. Anorexia is made up So back decoction for anorexia and self-induced starvation, diarrhea and intestinal parasite. Right, so my intestinal parasites are unwanted. So no chance that you back decoction and it. Right, for interest sake, I'm going to have my intestinal parasites, especially if you want bacteria, bacteria, but you want to be it. My bacteria machine just got you. I know from milk and eggs. That is like. My conium machine just got you. Kaka, nechi, ni masai, ni makai, kisusu itichiti church police. Police, jana jana lak tu ovuzi aisi police yamasaba dan mozi. I police ya WCC boss mbiri kurana maji, ma churches, ma nzuzi na duta. E WCC mbiri kurana ma church police saka. Pana some certain policies nongo wia bosi, mbiri kurana ma church. Kwetu yuzi masaba dan, tinga zuzari kati shivani mu. Now, what, what, why is milk and eggs full of macon? One mukaka is two sugars, glucose and galactose. And it, so when, in milk, you have fermentation of double sugars, glucose and galactose. So produce a heat-resistant bacteria. So if you read journals of medical science, they openly say, you can't have a lot of water, you can't have a lot of water. You can't have a lot of water. 
Une uncountable heat resistant bacteria. Mm. One scientist, Heinz Moles Owen, who wells, Akati here, milk from cows is a very strong polluter. It is about 400 times more polluting than untreated human soil. Mm. To put it in another way, 1,000 gallons of milk has a polluting potential as untreated sewage from a town of 7,000 people. <laughs> Jack can remember me to Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I, I just get excited. Uh, Sometimes <laughs> when they assess Mugaba and Kass, they are the same. Oh, I just came across it. Oh, what? So, second, can I can I can I say it's a fermentation of double sugars? Can you make for your Akawanda? Are you what resisting that? The common ones. Listeria, Escherichia coli, when it's mycobacterium parachupaclosis, the one that causes TB, MTB. Then kunana bovine leukemia virus. Muzai, mune gwenye risinga fin on salmonella. Salmonella chiroka kanga zai, chiroka boila arifi. So when we talk of intestinal parasites, as a medical missionary, you should know, kutindo kwa no bandit. Now, a at times, the, 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 the worldly signs we have is contrary to what we are discussing in why. Because all the truth in the food industry and medical world, they think will damage their industry. Mm. They will hide in medical journals. So when you Google the dangers of milk, there are some medical journals that come up on the internet. And I can tell us it's very logical. But somehow, syllabus, yeah, Dr. Nanes, as now he's going to go. Why? Because when you watch called because the food industry feeds the medical industry. My twin sisters. And human beings are the only engines that are not supposed to know there's right food and wrong food. Only a human being is an engine that is not supposed to know that. So you, you notice like as we are standing here, our motor car engines are better than us. Because when you go to total service station, you can pass a petrol. Because you but human beings eat what they want. Human beings are the only engines that will put into the engines fuels of their own preference. Very, very strange. <laughs> right, so back decoction for leprosy and back decoction for edema, back decoction for diabetes, back decoction for skin diseases, back decoction for chronic fevers, back decoction for splenomegal. Amen. 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 So, cannot explain and it. So, the lymphatic system by no drainer chin. You know, Vanessa Kuchi, she's been in church. She can go in flame a man, Chogan, with a say, Zimba and Kura and it. She can get Chakura chons, plain oji, make that you could have cool. Sagan go boiler, teaspoon, standard dose teaspoon, the munga for spleno, Megan. Seed pod powder infusion for constipation. I mean, you could use my seeds, no better than my pods, pods, one. Seed pod powder infusion for constipation and um, leaf decoction for jaundice. Leaf decoction for jaundice. Right? Then the second version of Nunga is Acacia melotica or bubble, distinguished by the dark brown. Which I'm going to cut to the side. Uh, for superficial wounds, back, uh, back crushed, infused for wound washing, right, allow me to jump, to jump, let's go to silver clusters. Yes. So we use the bark and leaf for wood. Silver glass. Yes. Now, the first function I applied in a patient was to boil the root. Okay? So, you dig up the root there. You remove the bark. Then you boil the, 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 the bark of the root. You know, Tanga Hitaka Furo, so I did. Turns into a dark brown soup. 
Now you continue boiling the bark because it's a very thick porridge. Now you take it off, heat, waste up, and you put a maple so chop. You need to cook it also for any stubborn wound. No function in the garden game. It's like a porridge. You have bark for cancer sores, diabetic sores, HIV sores. I'm not sure what one cancer, one diabetes, one HIV. One in a style and in a skill of support among them. One skill of my daughter. But usually with reform, of course, we don't ignore the the, the prerequisites. the ground It's from in out. You don't just say. They made the idea that I should get out my platelets as a very own dad, which is a quad. So, I did poor diet, wrong thing. She reformed to tanga first things first. And you know, just say, I'm sure what you papa. Now, the back is medicine for diabetes. You will not be his up with sugar. Was my gata cash with a car, can go back my ten level to over. And then I'm sure guy mild. I want this up with us. So, you. You really have your back powder, especially of the root. Then you have a teaspoon. That is standard dose. Teaspoon, and it. Teaspoon, tea, uh, for high blood sugar. So I know for now, I'm going to sugar. I'm 20 years. I'm 18, 19, 20. I'm going to Because you know, do not man. It's very magnificent. Just like you know, flower, don't spare it. You know, spare it. You know, don't have to sugar. You know, you know, you know. The other sugars, the doctor pumps up in my singing, and those are not very good. Quite as many sugars, and eight, nine, ten, I eight borderline diabetes. Leaf and root for gastritis, leaf and root infusion, equal parts, standard dose teaspoon for gastritis. Saramusu has been traditionally known for gastric problems, and it was coming from Shongoji. The Mudum, but I think of Ambango, Tagana, Daria, Yaki, and Mayuga, Kugosura, Gavirigi. What I'm going to say is that I'm going to say 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 that i Normally, I'm cheating, so I'm cheating, so I'm cheating, so I'm I'm cheating, so 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 i Right, it's insect resistant, used for fence posts, two handles, etc. etc. Root infusion or decoction against Staphylococcus aureus. Root infusion or decoction against Staphylococcus aureus. Escherichia coli, Bacillus anthracus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It's an antifungal against candida albicans. Yeast infection, and it. No one's a guru, I wish you machine, you know, candida, because I'm told to go zero percent to Kakuans, only my chemicals, and I see for, and I'm a phone back. Dream Pamu gets as much of a boy, fairs, I just can't papa. Antifungal against candida albigens and aspergillus niger. Root and back infusion or decoction for internal cysts, fibroids, growths, lumps, or any tumor. Root and back, either as infusion or decoction for cysts. Back and what? Root and back. You just combine equal parts decoction for cysts, fibroids, lumps, growths, or tumors. 
and you can combine the root and back as enemas. Root decoction for genital urinary tract disorders, including blockage. Amen? Root decoction or even back in porridge for genital urinary tract disorders, including blockage. Root infusion is eyewash for visual disorders. Root infusion is eyewash for visual disorders. The leaves are used in blue dyes. And also for visual disorders. How, 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 how come? Root infusion for bilious vomiting or bioemesis. Root infusion for bilious vomiting or bioemesis. Root infusion or a decoction for hyperacidity and gastritis. Root infusion or a decoction is anti plaque and blood condition. Right. Bye bye, Mr. Msusu. Amen. Amen. You remember like my system of fibroids and that's it. Yeah. My love, don't show one from this and be my system of fibroids. My gifts, man. Hey. And it's faster than a backyard energy. You fresh on it. Just found it when I want to my fibroids. I need that. But can I name out fibroids uterus? Usually, the worst case scenario is a uh, condition known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, polycystic ovarian syndrome is a condition with my fibroids. I eat alone. I eat alone. And I eat alone. And I eat alone. And I eat alone. And the time is passed. Can't pay up and the long the largest yakras are cardi, but it's a more paper future as well. Now one should be patient. Mam correct a diet yaki, a chima tea baki, and I should have lola lola was caploni data say. Yeah, disappear. She don't do my patients. One of my patients that I can go past case here is Pico Sure, polycystic ovarian syndrome, is a Gwanda nurse. I don't wanda. Now I come shoot that we can bass and gas that child. Mana umwe bozo yera nimi kamba ni kwele. Eh, yon zmidi zmidi zmeta wu. Asaka she wanted to just get out of the job and what work. So, we got there. Nomba watenga unwa. Sanda yu gandhi za five liters. Dweza ma hindifu zmangani. Four. Boza gandhi. Uli yu chino tichiri kisi paru wendo. Andi. Boza gandhi. Polisist kwa vane sisi. Tengi chori paru wendo. So, I did five liters. Tichiro wa kapa yadzi twice. Bura panama javi, bura panama javi, bura panama javi. So she would go for a scan. Kuna chika uti, pani progress. And it. Saka panima mwacha nika kare bari baka. Zi 15, ni mwete 18, chichi. Pa scan pa yona. Ay, ngeranzi rapa 9. Ngeranzi rapa 6. And it. Ga, 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 ga. In about 3, 4 months. Completely. Dere kucha cha cha sima. Saka lor nori. Saka awandisa bukufara zi. Masis. Mafai. Masis. So I got my seats, not one one is here, and what did you know? Touch with zero point six, four point jab with ah, and I complete with Shazi. I you not accept to accept. Now, if you don't find Mushavi in your locality for fibroids and seats, Mushan Salons Monday, Monday back for fibroids or seats, including polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, on my phone here. Root infusion, Yemushavi, is for coughs. And then the root infusion again is for fever. Mushavi, root infusion is anti inflammatory. Now, my functions is this. I'm going to Google. 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 I'm
Ozi, can I must go depend on his uncle to eat in Chungu Plagiary? When it just sprouts it from the ground, Karka chips on it. The Paganita Major, a paper Aka Karibana. Magon, Yes, for cancer. Infusion. Uh, Paper leaves or Alvisia and Messi or Australian cabbage tree. Australian cabbage tree. Back infusion for constipation <laughs> and digestive aid, promoting regular bowel movements. Back infusion for constipation. Leaf infusion is pegative. Leaf infusion it degrees. Root drunk is aphrodisiac. Balancing the hormones. Right, Nanda Kanga, we don't want to share something like it. Nana Babo, I'm going to go to the game. I'm a gate. Root powder, orange, or a steel. Usually, those what can I'm like? What can I put in? No, you can find a little bit of fun. You can use the root. How I hate for me. Right, so root infusion for diarrhea, root infusion for gonorrhea, root infusion for infertility in women. Root infusion for infertility in women. So I'm going to go to the next one. Crushed leaf enema is pegative. Crushed leaf enema is pegative. Crushed leaf poultice for edema of the legs. Crushed leaf poultice is edema for edema of the legs regulates cholesterol, <coughs> prevents heart disease and cancer. Root decoction for relief of stress or anxiety, stress, anxiety, and insomnia. Root decoction. Was not go what you are doing. It's keeping tablet. Root decoction for relief of stress, anxiety, and insomnia. Anti-inflammatory against arthritis and gout. Anti-inflammatory against arthritis and gout. Back and leaf paste affected joints for swelling and pain. Back and leaf paste to affected joints for swelling and pain. Back and leaf externally for all skin conditions. It is alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase for is inhibitor effects. Inhibitor effects. It is quercetin, isoquercetin, saponins, and polyphenols which impact on the hormonal and nervous systems in the body, especially quick alleviation of chronic stress.